Hi friends. Okay, this video, I'm going to be de uh, generating a prototype for a, for a client of mine. Uh, basically, it's a, uh, it's to determine if, if based on the checkbox, whether we're going to uh, have a lease agreement being pro rata or not pro rata, and then change the uh, changing up the the lease terms based on if it's pro rata or not pro rata. So uh, this that's uh, we're going to talk about uh, getting together a table and getting it into a form uh, using uh, writing the report via via a button printing the reward and printing to PDF and um, and showing you some VBA code behind it. So I'm going to walk you through step by step. Some of this I'm going to kind of fast forward through just uh, to kind of make it more interesting. But um, I think that you'll, you'll enjoy it. Uh, first of all, I've made a table here called Lease Verbage. And uh, basically, it's just a table with uh, lease type, paragraph, and the verbiage. And actually, I'm taking it off of a, a table that's already been generated. This report is kind of interesting because it has um, uh, a lot of DLOOKUPs based on... The report is actually generated based on this table. So is a table, of course, that's a, your record source, the table. Um, but we're using D lookups to kind of put the paragraphs into certain areas. This is more of a, it seems like this is more of a legal style. And maybe it has some use for, uh, uh, for some of y'all who are watching. And uh, you could use this. But it's a, it's a line by line. Uh, the line by line table, and we're just using a D lookup to uh, get the paragraph right. And it's we can switch around paragraphs as needed, basically. And you'll see it later on in the video how we can switch around, switch around the paragraphs um, by using multiple text boxes on a report, and then we can uh, look up certain uh, rows in this here table. Kind of interesting. So, and a lot can be applied here, but I probably won't get into all it can do, but I do want to show you this, this part here, um, this, how this, gener how this, how, the, how we could generate this programmatically, the pro, pro rata stuff, and I'm looking over on my other screen, uh, at some of the, the way this was set up. Okay, so uh, paragraph lease type A, paragraph two, part one, and that's uh, paragraph paragraph one. But nevertheless, we're looking at just this one line. And anyway, so we have lease type. Uh, lease space type and space of the field names because they were there before, so I just replicated the same thing. Uh, paragraph, part, and the verbiage. Of course, verbiage is, is the language. Okay. And based on that, uh, let me go ahead and pull this up. If it's a pro rata, we're going to use this terminology. No, no, if it's a, if it's just a regular term, we're going to use this terminology. If it's pro rata, then we're going to use this terminology. And I'm going ahead and uh, I'm going to use a, an update the record set based on this, because I think that's going to be the easier way of going by doing it. And you may have other ideas, and that's, that's fine. Do it your own way, but this way I'm doing it. Okay, um, I'm going to pull my face closer. Okay, so I generated the tables. That's good. So the next part is generating a, a form. So uh, creating and a form and design view. 
and I'm going to uh, add a few text boxes here. Okay. And boom. I don't want that, so I press escape and generate. Generate lease. Okay, we're, this is going to be an informal type of lease. And here I'm going to call it call it something. Double click on it and open up my properties. Open up this screen over here. Let's see if I can do that. Call it some more specific BGN generate. Good. And then this is going to be called uh, Pro Rata. Uh, if I can spell it right here, Pro Rata Start. And Pro Rata End. And we have um, yeah, I'm looking at my cheat sheet here. Oh, yeah. So, pro rata is the time period like. If the lease is going to start on June 1st, pro rata, but they want to start, pay, they want to move in, let's say, a few days earlier, uh, they want to move in on the 27th, and they, uh, so they got to pay for the 27th through the, the, uh, to May 31st, for May 27th to May 31st, and then they're going to start on, of the full month's rent on uh, on June first, the rent and the rent amount, rent amount is going to be this, <clears throat> and the. Another box is going to be the pro rata amount. These are going to be calculated amounts. Okay, so I'm saving this, I'm calling it FRM generate lease. Okay, and here. I have to sink down. I don't think you see my face. I don't think you really want to see my face All right now. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, much rather see the code. Much rather see the code. So uh, the text here. Txt. Pr starred. That one is going to be text PR and uh, that one is going to be P. Uh, no, that's the full months. Full months date. And that's going to be TXC. Again, this could be, it's probably more beneficial to have it actually stored in a table. Okay. Uh, 
but where we have an unbound form here that's not linked to any tables and has no control source. So it's going to be a, and actually you can generate this on a blank form. Okay. And then theoretically you could insert it into a, a final table. Okay. You can do a lot with it, but, um, you can do different things with it, but we're really not going to do that right now. Amount, and then we have this one called the TXT Pro PR amount. Okay, and so if I name these lists too. Because I don't want to actually see everything. Pure start. I don't want to see the Paretive Sabaretto. Paretive start. And then here. Paretive. Uh, PR end. And here, full month date, full month date, and here, <coughs> the uh, rent, uh, total rent, this is how it's simple. And this could be LBL. But if you didn't know why it means the prefix LBL and DXT, it's kind of obvious. LBL is label, TXT is text, text box. And these are these are controls. So oh, also uh, I need a check box here. Let's see, that's a right down. So the big check box. So I'm clicking on that. Let's see. I wanted to say pro rata. These. See that one, that one, and that one, they're gonna be blank to start out with. So I select them all. Here's a little trick select them all, and they all have a visible property. So I'm gonna set them all to no and save it. Okay, and so now what my form looks like at the time. Nothing, okay. It's kind of basic, but anyway, that's what it's looking right now. Um, CHK. This is a checkbox control, so I'm uh, PR. It's easy. Uh, the data, the default value is going to be zero, meaning it's going to be false. Okay, well, I want it to be checked, uh, make it one, but it's not. Uh, so when I check this, click, I wanted to do something. <clears throat> uh, I wanted to, if check PR. PR equals true. Then else let's see here. So it's uh, 
than me, dot LBO. PR amount not visible equals true. <coughs> txt pr bound okay the order of these right now now i'm not really concerned about that uh it'll be oh it'll be out here in and down now pr star So we have text. Stay with me, people. <clears throat> uh, BR. Star. BR. And. <clears throat> so we have these. And then I'm just going to copy them, put them down here, and make them all false. So if it's checked, then show them. If not, then don't. Use the same ones. Just don't do it. Okay. So we're good. Let's see. Oh, that's what I did earlier, so... Uh, I just want to get rid of it. I don't, I don't want this. No. Okay, now we're good. Okay, now. Let's see how it works out. I was like, the, the one thing with, with these rad uh, application, it would like to actually see what goes on. That's why I like access. So. I can actually see the progress I'm making. So they say, oh, that's cool. I'm making some progress here. So, pre ready to start day, pre ready to end day. Notice that when I click on these, you said, oh, uh, I normally have a date picker because these are dates. I'll show you a little trick what, how you get the date picker on there. Uh, just make this. Just put the format. As short date, then it knows it thinks it's a uh, it thinks it's a it thinks it's a uh, um, a date box, and so it'll do that. And these are all going to be uh, we're going to default up to zero, so kind of looks pretty good. Okay, there's my little date, date box. So it tells access that, hey, we're expecting a date here. Uh, pro right about. So. Uh, default value at zero. All right, I'll show you my position. Hold on. Change my. Oops. Ugh. They can't sing at all. What a...
Okay. <clears throat> now, where were we? Uh, Generate leaves. I just wanted to do something right now. Generate lease. Okay, I didn't do anything yet, but I, I, I just wanted to do something. So if I click on it, I want it to actually generate lease or say that. Okay, good. It does. Yay. Okay, now. Um, so here's a... You know what? It's a date. It's supposed to be a date. Because I mean, right now, I have no idea what this one was for. But if I put date here, I know. Arrange and I'm making this over to the right. Good. Uh. Okay, now that's good. Okay, so now we have a full bunch rent, rent date. Under normal circumstances, they'll start rent on, let's say, July 1st. And they'll, let's say they'll pay 500 bucks. Okay. So, whatever this is collected, sorry, right? Okay, so I'm pressing Alter to F11, and let's say, uh, instead of just generate lease, which could be, uh, I'm going to just rent out. Uh, if check PR equals true, then else. Uh, message box. I'm gonna take the variables from the from the screen right now. So if uh, message box two. Four miles. And me dot txt for my date. Uh, so it's got a full month start, full month date, use my cheat sheet to show me some language here. Shall be from. Uh, shall be from so start <clears throat> at a rate. rate 
of and v dot txt uh, total amount. Good. And if it's not, and actually, you know what? I should probably put that text that I had up there. Probably be it more helpful. So these are the texts I actually want here. Edit. Yeah, where's my edit bar? Oh, it's over here. Click that button right there. Comment the whole thing out. Okay. So the uh, the term the sleeve shall be from. You know, I have to use the whole thing. Term of the sleeve shall be from at rate of, and then this these are single single uh, quotes. This is it. Um, and this is going to be. Move the screen over a bit so you can see it. Uh, okay, so that. Sorry. Trying to make communications. Uh, hair and lease shall be from. Uh, oh, 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 yeah, yeah. So it's going to be from whatever that date is. Okay. Uh, let's see, uh, v dot txt. Pure start. Pure. If I can type right, that'd be all right. <coughs> Pure start. Pure start. Okay, this is pretty cool. Uh, if you want to, let's say this is, because pure start is going to be a number, but we want the day of the week because people sometimes get confused like myself. Uh, let's say it was like June 26th, and he called it a Monday, and June 26th, 2022, it's actually a Sunday. And June twenty seventh is a Monday, so or if somebody else to correct you, you better uh, you, you want to put the date, the the actual day of the week in text text format. Now I'll put that on another video um, prior to this one. Uh, so check check it out if you're interested. But I mean, here's here's it in a practical application for it uh, format. And then we have the expression and now we want the space here. There's a lot of these a lot of concatenation to make sure it's it's just right. Oh uh, and the the date is gonna be D D D D. Okay. Gotcha. And this text is getting kind of long, so I'm going to just dim some variables up here. Um, dim str text as string. Then 
This is really not that long, but equals the C. And then this is going to be text. This year text. And text <clears throat> x to your toes equals that these shall be from this year text equals equals s your text and this um, my foot is sorry <sighs> to <clears throat> to Here and and oh, yeah. and we got to change this part. Save it. Uh, it's a good place for it to end. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we'll go back and fix that in a moment. Don't you worry. Format. Format bar and oh, oh, oh. run. Spread this record. Format. Oh. <sighs> Format that. Oh. Uh, I'll go. Never mind. So it is right. Two, f two. Okay. Now I think we got it. <clears throat> and oh and and the start of the lease okay good Whew. okay now uh wednesday From the TZ four month date. Yeah, it just seems to be the amount of the type. Okay, let's test it. Make sure it works. So far. Don't want that. 
uh, wrong red button. <clears throat> okay, so now this is not Beretta, so we should have okay. The term of this lease here, lease shall be from from. Wait a moment here. The Beretta, okay. Hold on, let's see. Where where could it have gone wrong here? The term of this lease here lines away from from. Oh, duh, wrong one. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it's not Verrata. Gosh. I have these backwards. Dyslexic. Okay. Now let's try it. Of seven hour shall be from seven one at a rate of five hundred dollars. Good. Okay, now if it's for a Rata, <coughs> we should have we should do uh the that the twenty third, which is today, time of this video that but the full month is that and then we got to calculate we still have to calculate this we just okay so now we should get this okay we'll determine the lease shall be from 623 to 630 pro rata and from friday 712 good okay so it's doing it's so far My video is timing out or what? Oh, here it is. Good. So you didn't see me drinking. Hmm. Okay, anyway, uh, let's drink some water, of course. Um, yeah, per dead, uh, per red out bound. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we want to figure out the pro rata amount. Okay, so we have uh, the two dates. If pro rata is true, then let's uh, dimension to. Uh, well, let's not. Uh, dim DBL. D days as integer excuse me days equal date well the the different the days the difference in the days between the start date and the end date date div da days the first date is going to be me dot txt pr starred and the second date is going to be b dot txt pr end <coughs> okay and dim uh, DBL uh, PR amount as double because currency is I dimension as double because it saves space memory space which is probably not required on the modern computers but that's just the way it is you can put it as a currency if you want but i didn't um okay so we have that days
Oh yeah, yeah. It's a dim uh, DBL daily raid as du double. So then we have the days, and then we have the daily raid. Okay, we're gonna say uh, there are other functions to figure out. Well, how many days are in the month? But not gonna do that on this one, this video here. So we're just gonna assume that there's thirty day, thirty one days, or though okay, again, that thirty days in June, our example. <clears throat> so, um. DBL daily raid equals e dot txt amount of uh, total amount divided by thirty. You could get that if you uh, just get the days of the month, either thirty or thirty-one. It's fine. Um, so the debt we have the daily raid and then the uh, the me dot txt not that me dot txt pr amount equals the dbl daily rate daily rate times the int days okay Hey, what happened to my, my recording here? Stop. Uh -uh. My thing worked. Bah. So we're setting the value of the, the text box here to whatever this calculation is. So we want to get the daily rate. Oh my. Let's see what happens. Uh, so far we have this and bang. Okay. So the, uh, the days. So if we change this. Well, you know, this, we gotta make these into, uh, what I'm doing is going into a layout mode and changing both these to currency so they look a little bit better. And layout mode is a little bit faster to do it. Do, uh, <laughs> this one didn't even do it. What is going on here, man? Uh, <clears throat> Well, I don't know. Okay, well, I did like what was in there before. So, anyway, so if I change this to, let's say, the uh, tw 15th of the month, this, this number should change, too. So one day Wait up oh oh duh okay. Yeah. So actually this should be on the after update, but it's not so we have one day so now this would change to uh like two fifty. Okay, whenever I click that. So it does. Okay, good. 
Beretta doesn't, this one doesn't do it. Okay, now we're on the home stretch. So, or part, part way there. Um, so we are, we're, we want to update the, the value of the table that with with our with our text so we're gonna use a use an insert statement to do it so we're gonna get our sql insert statement so if i go over here and let's say we want to just we just want to uh, rep we want to copy some of the some of the text just to make it a little bit easier speed things up a bit I don't know how fast it's going to speed it up, but uh, we are going to insert into lease verbiage. And we're doing that. Okay, then I'm going to do SQL and then go getting this. And then I'm going to now I now that I have it so I dim yes your sequel as string okay that's give me it's gonna generate a lease anyway so uh here's my here's my uh the verbiage here my sql string sorry so sql is going to be equal to that now it does have to modify it because it's kind of messy uh inserted the least type yeah that's good good now we don't want that so um values okay values actually we're not we're going to do an update so this is not well forget about all that so update Update lease verb is that's why you have to know where uh and that's why you have to know SQL. Sorry. Thought you were just an access to or do that dot uh Man, deleted all this stuff. It's not good. Okay. <clears throat> Update verbiage. <sighs> Set. Update. Set verbiage. equal to we're gonna make this tag so we have to put a little check mark there so this your text and and that and then we have C just your sequel quarter sequel and Yeah, I know we're missing something. That. Um.
You can barely see my whole face. Okay. Uh, quit looking at the camera. Yeah. Okay, uh, update lease verb is said. Verb is equal to that. Uh, where lease type equals A. Yeah, just get rid of it because it doesn't matter anyway. So we're least type is A, paragraph two, part one. Good. Uh, paragraph equals two, part equals one. There I am. Yeah, two, one. Good. Okay. Now. Part one. Then, since we have DAO already, why use ADO? So, we have do command. You know, I could just run the run a do command run SQL run SQL and S your SQL so then uh, kind of the pseudocode uh, after that's we're gonna print the report report to PDF. Oh, by the way, if you haven't, if you may have a question mark in your mind, yes, this is hypertext, and this is uh, gonna display correctly in the report. Okay, we got that out of the way. So, so bang. Ooh, update statement. Let's see what it is that we have here. So the media window. What is our variable? These for present by uh, here at least. Ooh, set rate of five hundred. Sorry, that space that we, that we didn't have there. Oh, another another error. Let's see. Uh, I took the space out, right? Let's do your text. Where? Rate five hundred. The rate rate of five hundred. Where the least type is a. Paragraph equals two. Update set is equal to. Oh, update Lee. Okay, we did put a space here either. Gotcha. Shall be at rate of five hundred dollars. The term of this lease currently shall be.
Hmm. Hmm. So what do you think it could be? Guys? Girls? Uh... Let's test this out. Let's take and copy this. And put it over here. Syntax error. Syntax error. Sometimes these errors can be misleading, but let's see what happened. Oh, 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 I think I know what it is. Oh, look at that. It, It may be because he's double um, the quotes. Where paragraph is where least type is equal to A. Paragraph two part equals two. Wait a moment, is this a... Uh... Paragraph... Okay, I have that. <coughs> Set to update. Two. Paragraph two, part one. Paragraph two, part one. A. <coughs> Paragraph two, A. Paragraph one. Paragraph two, part one. Paragraph two. Two, one. Is a 
updated set that equal to that. Where at least for this? Oh, and and and. Okay. Gotcha now. Date least verb is said that so here this is where I'm gonna have to have a quote here. I'm gonna do three of these. And this ultimately I'll make it four. So yeah, so now we got it. Now to get rid of the uh, error messes, we're gonna or uh, the warnings. Do command set set warnings off, <clears throat> and then we're gonna have do command set warnings true. And then something to say we're done. Um, complete. So the term is complete. Good. Now, pro rata. Here we have. Uh, actually, I probably don't want to see the boxer because that's not necessary anymore. Let's see, I have it changed the verbiage here. 615, good. The other verb is here that was changed. Yeah, so we're good. Now, uh, pro rata, we're changing this to 625 here. Okay, 625. Now, you see how this changes. Now, the interesting part is what we do the report here. Okay, this is the last little bit, and we're just going to have a uh, report. Where we at? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. It's report design. <clears throat> okay, so here, um, the report is just going to be called uh, 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 lease.
in here. It, it has to, it's got to, it may have a lot of, a lot of stuff, but we're just focus on this one little thing. It's just going to be a D lookup here. equals D lookup and we have the we're looking up the value of the of uh, this field over here the vertage field verbage it's kind of weird you got to put these fields in uh, brackets or And the same with the table. So the the quirk with the um, with that D lookup thing function uh, at least for ridge. and what my parameters are going to be. Um, I right, but these are ready. Let's see uh, if I can remember this. Well, why do that if I could use this? This is about where. Here's my criteria stuff. Okay, save it. And we'll pre 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 preview it. And it's not showed up right. Uh -oh. So I gotta go back and design view it. Each type is equal to A and pair if it's two and part equals one. Might be helpful. I put all this in, in quotation marks here. Yeah, yeah, that's so we're good. So notice how you see these uh, the the link the hyperlink tags the HTML tags don't really pop up here. So we have to change the format of this box from a uh, a text box from a plain text. Which shouldn't show you these, which won't show you the markup text. We've got to change this to rich text so that the, uh, the, so the markup tags actually show. It shows the marked up text. So we'll wait for a moment if this thing didn't crash out on me. Yeah, you see? Pretty, pretty nifty. Uh, okay, so, I didn't really need to save that, but I did. Uh, so, anyway, so, let's say, <clears throat> just for grins, 6, through 6, 5 to 6, 30, be complete, and then here, I have, I should have the, if I, don't do that. If I redo it, if I go to design view, rerun it, and six five to six to seven, 
Okay. Oh. My bad. And so how here? Uh, let's see. Do command open report. And the report name. I think we called it just plain leaves. And I want to do it in a report. First of all, I want to do it. That's that's that. Okay, so now, okay, six, good. Now, if I do no program, I'll get this, this. Perfect. Okay, great. Now, if I want to do, I could go ahead and print this out to a, uh, to make it a PDF. Oh, if you like this type of video, go ahead and uh, subscribe. Um, like and subscribe it. Preview. View command. Output to PDF output. Output report. Me. Dot name. And then output format PDF. Output PDF, that you PDF, you could just put it to the place you need it. Uh, so my output format. Forget the, the name. If you called that uh, the wrong name, you're going to get the cannot find error. And now, I should have saved this called lease in this here folder. Uh, yeah. As a PDF. It pop up before we end the video here. Yep, it does. <clears throat> so we're good. So go back through the video, make it uh, produce it yourself. Uh, we wanted to uh, change the programmatic text around the amounts. Based on what the checkbox was, we were constructing whatever this report's going to be. So we could actually add, uh, add three or four other, other boxes here and then move them around as we needed to. So, uh, pretty interesting, pretty interesting stuff. So I probably put it at uh, this code here. I'm probably gonna put it over there at vdahowto.com, 
and uh, if you have any questions go ahead and leave them in the comments below and if you like this video go ahead and click the like button and go ahead and subscribe to the channel it helps out a lot hopefully I helped you out a lot so thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video bye bye